This is the word of God's grace brought to you by the Standing Church International. We're a life transforming church with a vision of raising a supernatural army for the Lord. Get ready to be blessed by God's word and experience miracles. Resources from impossible places. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. How to trigger this operation in your life? Number one, receive God's big vision for your life. In Isaiah 45 verse 13. There is something that God said of Cyrus. God had a vision. Something he wanted him to do. That is why God set up that thing. He said, I have raised him in righteousness. And I will direct all his ways. What will he do? He will build my city. There is a vision. I have raised her. I have raised him. They will build a supernatural army. They will cast their spirits over places. They will take over the world and its sectors for Christ. He will build my city. And he will let go my captives. Guess what this same Cyrus said. When God had done this for him. In Ezra chapter 1 and verse 2. Thus said Cyrus, king of Persia, The Lord God of heaven has given me all the kingdoms of the earth. In history, when you read history, Cyrus defeated every king he fought into Africa, Egypt all the kingdoms of the earth and he has charged me to build him an house what is God's big vision for you? if you receive God's big vision you will command resources from impossible places one of the major things about Christian prosperity is purpose is what? purpose, why? what is the purpose of the wealth? if you settle it, prosperity will not be far from you number two receive the sent one Receive the sent one. Second Chronicles 20 20. Believe in the Lord your God, you will be established. Believe his sent one and you will prosper. Believe his prophet and you will what? Prosper. He turned to the widow of Zarephath and said, Prepare for me first. When instructions come, you follow. Your prosperity is in the word that comes from heaven through God's servant. I told you that that word came to me. He said, money will never finish in your hands. 2018. We are going to four years now of that word. It can't happen again. Never. Never. Money can never finish with me again. It means that every word I'm speaking here, has the ability to transform your life if you take it the way I take the words that are spoken to me. Number three, be sacrificial in giving. Be what? Sacrificial in giving. Sacrifice is a language of power with strong accents in the realm of the spirit. When God wants to lift you into new levels, he puts you on the high places of sacrifice. When he wants to lift you, he places you on the high places of sacrifice. Inside his instruction are his liftings. Be sacrificial. Number four, be deep in soul travail. The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of the righteous man makes tremendous power available that is dynamic in his working. That prayer, look at it. It is called heartfelt prayers. Prophetic words don't just fulfill themselves. We must pray. And we are talking about praying with the words of prophecies until you see results. Every day I wake up. 4 a.m. After this type of meetings, long meetings that we used to have. 5 a.m. I'll start off. My destiny must change. So I will sit down there. No matter how tired I am. Because some of you, you have been just the useless gist for 10 years. I am not tired. You still say the stories you said 10 years ago today. With passion. Forgetting that you said it yesterday. Don't be tired of word. Word that will change your life. Don't be tired. Though. 
sit down there. Why are we mindful of all these generational causes? When we have our own generational blessings, pray. When we sowed a massive seed this year, one massive seed, words were spoken, and one of the words was that international doors are opened unto us. Then I began to pray one time. I think it was September or October. This is almost two months after the words were spoken. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Mata Kabroko. I carried that prophecy. I've been praying it after that time. So I, I wrote it out. I wrote it out. It was written in my color notes. I wrote it out in my prophecy book. And I have the recording. Try to it. Then I entered. I sat down. Then I got to that place. International doors are opened. Then I was praying it. I was praying. Then I, I removed it in the spirit held it by God's mercies and entered into the church and came and I said now in the name of Jesus let international doors open from there Boom. that's what you saw it's prophecies no struggle and since that time it has become a faculty if you want go and get that's the how it is now we know in Nigeria, you don't need to travel out of Nigeria we are living above economy in this place. I saw the seed in 2020, early 2020, and my spiritual father said to me, he said, money's in different currencies will begin to come to you. And I carried that word through the whole year at different intervals. When things were tight, it is those words I will go back to. You don't complain when things are tight, you go to words. I will carry those particular words. I will be praying them. It's not every day I pray those prophecies, but whenever things are tight, I carry the prophecies of those areas. I stay there. I stay praying, 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 praying. Different currencies, different currencies, different. From that year, I've seen currencies: Dubai, Dira, Egyptian pounds, Chinese yen, pounds, dollars, euros. Almost nothing I've lost. That is consequential to the economy of this world. Naira. Praying with prophecies. That young man and his precious wife came. I laid hands on them. Lord, please give them new jobs. That was all. That was all. The first day he resumed that work, interviews, phone calls. Interviews upon interviews upon interviews, and he said, I kept saying, Lord, your servant has said that you should give us new, and he kept prophesying with the prophet. Now he's the assistant manager of an international company, paying him in thousands of dollars, and they gave him shares on the company. Number five, stretch in diligence, stretch in diligence. I want to encourage you. Let your hands be strengthened. Let your hands be strengthened to do all that God has asked you to do. And do it diligently. Don't be tired. Let your hands be strengthened. Stay. Stay. That young daughter of mine didn't have any money of us. And she was giving money to start a business. And it was small money. But she stayed and was doing it. I'm building it. I'm building it. It is inside there that God opened seven digits for us. Stay. Let your hands be strengthened. Let your hands be strengthened. Opportunity opened. Somebody said, please recommend somebody for investment. I want to give. I said, choose this person. You know why? Even in the days when the person didn't have money, the person was doing that thing and stayed. And the person is still doing that thing till now. Let your hands be strengthened. Your big day is coming. In fact, your big day has come. One of our young men, he said he was doing his business. He didn't even know that they were looking at him from Lagos. That's how this big company reached out to him and said, we have been watching you, we like, we want to mentor you. And the face of his business changed from that mentorship. Why? Seriousness. Diligence. Diligence. Proverbs 10 4 says that the hands of the diligent make it rich. Proverbs 12 verse 27 says the substance of the diligent is precious. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 4 it says the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. You see that it's not only favor, there's wisdom, there's diligence. 
Proverbs 21 verse 5 The thoughts of the diligent lead to plenty Proverbs 22 29 Sears thou a man diligent in his work He will stand before kings Many times it is kings that have the dreams That you need to interpret Diligence helps you to be able to interpret it When the opportunity arises Let me tell you Opportunities are flying all over the world Today, today, today There is somebody that wants to give 1 million dollar grant There is another person that is willing to give 10 million dollars there are angel investors all over the place looking for who to help but there are not too many that can give answers to their questions if you rise with diligence you'll be different we are not in a world that does not have money we are in a world that is looking for how to use money and in this diligence God said I should tell you stop copying people stretch with what God has given you and become very excellent at it David did not try to use a spear to kill Goliath he used the stones stop copying what everybody is doing do your own that God has told you to do if you develop yourself in that thing your life will change I wrote something for you if you work a job it's my spiritual father that said this to me you will earn a salary if you work on yourself you will earn a fortune if you work a job you will earn a salary if you work on yourself this listening to the word going to go and practice it is working on yourself you will earn a fortune this is why many of you are attracting wealth that many people your age are not attracting it's because you are working on yourself sitting hours like this under the word is part of it studying understanding being diligent with your trainings attending necessary conferences work on yourself and it's not only working on your brilliance work on your face work on your courage how you talk to people your respect for people work on yourself work on your competence god prospers us through wisdom jacob had the blessing he suffered until he saw wisdom isaac had the blessing he prospered in farming through wisdom he reduced the wells of abraham wisdom and diligence The wisdom that comes to you to prosper is based on the size of your heart and your desire. The wisdom that comes to you to prosper is based on the size of your heart and your desire to prosper. If your picture is being able to send your children to school and be comfortable, you will get a business idea to be selling yams and you will prosper enough to do that. But if you tell yourself, I want to build a university that will change the face of education in Nigeria, you will get a business idea that will make you a billionaire. The day some of you said, I want to sow my first 100,000, I started running. Ideas came to be able to do that thing. Raise the bar. Raise the bar. Stop looking at survival only. There's more where it came from. Resources from impossible places I want you to pray where you have Father I receive my resources from impossible places I receive resources from impossible places go ahead and begin to pray what a refreshing time in the word it has been We believe you've been blessed by God's word and have received encounters for mighty miracles. To download more messages like this one or listen to the full conference message, please visit our website at www.thestandingchurch.com. There you will find an abundance of resources to help you grow in your Christian walk and deliver miracles of destiny to you. We cannot wait to hear your testimonies and we look forward to having you connect with us. Please write to us at info at the standing church dot com or call us on plus two three four eight one three four seven seven three one four five or connect with us via our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube at the standing church. If you have never made the decision to be saved and would like to receive Jesus into your life or rededicate your life to him, please say the following words out loud. Lord Jesus. I confess you as Lord over my life. I believe that you died for me and that God raised you from the dead. I receive all that you have made available for me through your death, burial, and resurrection. I declare right now that I am a child of God. I'm free from sin 
and I am the righteousness of God. Amen. Congratulations, you are now saved. We're so glad you made the decision to receive Christ today. Please write to us at plus 234-813-477-3145 to share your salvation testimony with us today. In or around the city of Ibadan, we invite you to join us at the Dominion Center for each of our services in the week. Join us on Sundays for our worship service by 9 a.m. and our teaching services on Mondays by 5 p.m. Our prayer and communion services on Fridays by 5 p.m. Each of these services are put together to deliver God's word and power to you and bring you into the life of prosperity, health, dominion, and liberty that God has ordained for you. Not in a bad home. Don't miss out. Our services and special meetings are streamed online via our Mixedar and YouTube platform at The Standing Church. We look forward to having you worship with us. God bless you. We also invite you to join us for Heart Enlargement Special. This destiny-defining meeting is our annual citywide crusade where we have the privilege of hosting the visionary Manifold Grace Ministries. Dates, July 12th and July 13th, 2024. Venue, the International Conference Center, University of Ibadan, Ibadan, or your state, Nigeria. Don't miss this crowning encounter with God. It will be a time of miracles, healings, deliverances, breakthroughs, and transformation. God bless you. We love you and God bless you.